Assalamualaikum and good day I back to the examiner and viewers. My name is Ain Shahada binti Abdul Rahman, a final year student in Bachelor of Science with Honor Applied Chemistry in UITM Aral Police. My student ID number is 2018-262928 and my supervisor is Dr. Siti Nolia binti Ali. I am here to present on my thesis entitled Application of Solid Extraction Method and Type of Solver Used for the Treatment of Oxidized Coal, a review. The flow of this presentation goes from introduction to literature review and lastly conclusion and recommendation. Introduction Introduction consists of four parts which are research background, problem statement, significance of study and objective of study. Research Background First thing first, let me define to you what is coal. Coal is a fossil fuel formed from vegetation which had been consolidated between other rock strata and altered by the combined effects of pressure and heat over millions of years. Coal consists of mostly carbon but also contains sulfur, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. A high quality coal contains high percentage of fixed carbon and a low percentage of volatile matter. Oxidized coal is the coal near the surface of a swampy area and subjected to atmospheric weathering. That means the coal had undergone many chemically and physically changes. The absorption of oxygen from the air by coal are also known as oxidation of coal. Coal that had been oxidized had many disadvantages and degrade the quality of coal. Therefore, it need to be treated. Next is the problem statement. When coal not stored in the right way, it will absorb oxygen or also known as chemisorption of oxygen from the air. Thus, the oxidation of coal will happen. During the absorption of oxygen, formation of carbon-oxygen complexes occurred making the composition of coal contains high content of oxygen. Coal with high content of oxygen, or called oxidized coal, lowered the quality of coal. Significance of study The first significance of this study is because coal is also one of the important research of energy in the world. Therefore, the production of high quality coal is important. Secondly, this study is done to review on the solar extraction technique and to review which kind of solvent is suitable with the extraction method so that the extraction can produce treated coal with high content of carbon. Thirdly, this study is also conducted in order to gain a better understanding of the chemical nature of this important research and to have better understanding regarding the processes of deterioration in store codes. Objective of study There are two objectives for this study which are first to review on the characteristic of oxidized coal and effect of oxidation towards coal usage and second is to review on the application of solar extraction and types of solvent used for the treatment of oxidized coal. Now, let's move on to the literature review. Before we go in deeper into the literature review, first, what is the properties of oxidized coal? Oxidized coal uptake of oxygen from the air and change the molecular structure of coal thus changes the coal mass and its elemental composition. Oxidized coal also modifies the physical structure of coal. It contains high moisture content and ash content that degrades the quality of coal as it has less carbon. Moving on the next part which is treatment of coal solar extraction. I would like to define solar extraction first. Solar extraction is the classic extraction technique for complex solid matrices invented in 1979 by Franz von Sohlet. It was originally designed for the extraction of a lipid from a solid material. The principle of solar extraction. The principle of solar extraction is first, it is a continuous solid liquid extraction. Solar extraction is required when the desired compound has a limited solubility in solvent and the impurity is insoluble in that solvent. It allows for unmonitored and unmanaged operation while efficiently recycling 
recycling a small amount of solvent to dissolve a larger amount of material. Advantages of solid extraction is that instead of many portion of one solvent being passed through the sample, just one batch of solvent is recycled. It can be extracted multiple of times, low energy consumption, easy continuous operation, small solvent dosage, and high efficiency. Moving on the next section, Mechanism of Solid Extractor. Let's take a look at the animation that describes the mechanism of solid extractor here. Solid extractor uses the solvent reflux and siphon principle to continuously extract the solid matter by pure solvent. The solid material needs to be grounded pure to the extraction to increase the area of solid liquid contact during the extraction. Then, the solid material containing some of the desired compound is placed inside a thimble which is loaded into the main chamber of the solid extractor. After that, the solid extractor was placed into a flask containing the extraction solvent. The solvent is then equipped with a condenser and heated to reflux. The solvent vapor will then travel up to the distillation arm and floods into the chamber housing the thimble. The condenser ensures that any solvent vapor cools and drips back down into the chamber housing the solid material. The chamber containing the solid material slowly fills with warm solvent. Some of the desired compound will then dissolve in the warm, in the warm solvent. When the solid chamber is almost full, the chamber is automatically emptied by a siphon side arm, with the solvent running back down to the distillation flask. This cycle may be allowed to repeat many times over hours and days. Here are some of the previous study that had used solid extraction to treat oxidized coal. Firstly, from a study conducted by Hu et al. in 2018, the type of coal used is zilinguala lignite and shenfu subvitaminous coal. The solvent used is tetrahydrofuran, resulting in the decrease of oxygen and high yield of coal with high carbon content. Next is the study by Zhang et al. in 2019. In this study, Shenhua coal was extracted with mixture of acetone and hexane solvent, resulting in coal with high carbon content, low sulfur, low oxygen and low ash content. Lastly, by the study of Rahman et al. in 2017. In this study, they used asam coal extracted with ethylene diamine, resulting in decreasing of oxygen content of the yield coal. Well, that brings us to the end of the final section of this Presentation which is conclusion and recommendation. For conclusion, the main goal for this review thesis is to present the usage of solid extraction method and the suitable solvent for the extraction in order to treat the oxidized coal so that a high quality and cleaner coal will be produced for further use. Solid extraction did gives out several advantages such as low cost, small solvent dosage, high efficiency and higher total of extraction as compared to the general soaking method. For recommendation, there are many other treatment methods that can be used in the treatment of oxidized coal. For example, ultrasonic method, sonication method, microwave irradiation method, and others. Even for solid extraction itself, there are still various types of suitable solvent and technique that can be used to treat oxidized coal. That's all for me. Thank you for spending your time watching this video. Have a nice day.